Hi guys, it's Tev1990 here, and we are going to be vlogging again. This is going to be the number two vlog, and I'm going to attempt to do a review of my new car. Well, new to me. It's a 2011 plate Nissan Qashqai. And let's th run through some of the features that it has got. So, what we'll do is we'll try and take the phone out of the holder, and I will run you through the car via that. Right then guys, as you can see, the first thing we will come to is all the controls on the centre console. So I do have integrated sat now, so let's just turn that on. That was my dash cam that you probably heard in the background. So yeah, we have an integrated sat nav, phone, Bluetooth, whatever you want to call it. So, so you can hear Mr. Ken Bruce there. On uh, radio too. <laughs> Takes a while for it to start up on the sat nav. So what we'll do, we'll go to that. So we've got obviously the FM radio. That's for the phone. We've got CD, and then we've got an AUX. So back to the sat nav. There we go. Excuse me. So that's all that. It runs via. SD card all the maps do which I've got to get updated at some point in the next year so going down to underneath all of that we've got all the temperature controls this is obviously the passenger side which can be turned individually um, that comes up <coughs> obviously but the driver's side I can control both temperatures And then we've obviously got the air conditioning, the bit that, uh, it, the vent that's there is controlled via that switch with the light on. And that actually goes over the top and across the, the uh, panoramic sunroof. So, and then we've got obviously the rear view mirror. And then we've got the sunroof controls. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love my little sunroof or panoramic sunroof. And then click it again and it comes back. It doesn't open, but hey ho, that's the risky take. So, and then down here we have the obviously the door lock button and door unlock button. It doesn't do it automatically like on my old. Well, I haven't found out if it does it automatically like on my old car, but anyway. So, onto the steering wheel and as you can see there's plenty of buttons so we'll, we shall run through them on this button we can control the information that appears on that screen that button there is for the phone so we can open the phone up we can accept a call we can cancel a call using that button obviously volume switches the source, which will change that around. Then we get to my favourites, cruise control. That one is to set it. And we use that to up the speed or, you know, slow it down. We can set it to the speed and then restore it to the speed if we have to cancel it. I don't know what that one does. I haven't uh, quite figured out that one yet. <coughs> anyway, onwards and upwards. We then come down here, and we have the auto start stop, the ESP, uh, the folding wing mirrors button, and the wing mirror adjust, and then we've got the headlight aim. And on the indicators, or the indicators, the uh, side stalks, we've obviously got all the stuff for the wipers. And on that side is the indicators and all the lights and all the rest of it. And it does have the auto lights feature, which is a pain in the ass when you've just changed lamps, like I had to the other day. And I went to switch the lights on, went round the front of the car, headlights aren't on. Why aren't the headlights on? Thinking that I got some duff lamps, I nearly drove back to Halfords, 
And I, I was actually just getting in the car to drive back to Halfords to, you know, say, look, you've sold me some duff lamps. And I then realised that they were on auto. So I had to flick it to that position. <laughs> so, and obviously on the instrument panel, you see we've got the fuel gauge, we've got the miles an hour, we've got all the information, we've got a temperature and we've got the revs. Okay guys, I'm now going to talk to you about the space in this car. As some of you may be aware if you've watched one of my friends, Welsh Hunter 93, or his YouTube channel I do believe is Welsh Hunter Gaming and Vlogs, I went to Birmingham with him a couple of, about six or seven months ago now, and if you've watched that, you'll know that I'm not exactly the smallest of all people, I'm quite tall, yeah, kind of, it's six, six two, six three, you know, um, so I need a lot of space in a car. My old car, unfortunately, I'm not going to mention a make and a model, you know, but it was a small car, it was a lovely car, you know, I mean, I'd had it since 2013, and, I, you know, I got rid of it last week, and uh, it been through a lot, but it wasn't fit for purpose, unfortunately, now, because myself and my girlfriend are expecting a baby. She already has a child, uh, a little girl, uh, 10 years old, and we're obviously expecting a baby now. So, we needed a bigger car, so, hence the reason why we picked the cash guy. So, space in the cash guy. Let's run you through it. Okay, guys, so as you can see, from me being outside the car, there is plenty of space in there on the driver's side which is good for me there's also plenty of space on the passenger side which is good for pregnant girlfriend so if we run to the rear of the car and as you can see there is stacks of space for children in their car seats now this is an interesting feature on this particular model in Nissan Qashqai Yeah. It's fitted with ejection seats. And there's one on the passenger as well. And we go out the sunroof. Obviously, I joke, of course. That's just stuff that I brought from uh, my trip down to RAF Cosford. Now, let's see if I can get us into the boot without. Uh... So, it's just under here. I don't know if you can see it or not on that. Yeah, but there's also a reversing camera somewhere around, which is a feature I forgot to tell you about. So, in terms of boot space, quite a lot, you know. So there's going to be enough room in there for push chairs and things, which is always a plus. Right, time to get that down. There we go. <laughs> stupid me for parking it next to a thing right so yes so as i said there's plenty of boots but there's plenty of storage space as well actually thinking about it so we can store like baby's bottles and things in the side obviously the eldest can store her drinks and things there the back is electric windows yeah as you can see yeah but i have them knocked off and plus the ignition is not on anyway right so, I shall get back into the front now. So guys, as I've already said about the car, it is a 2011 uh, Nissan Qashqai. Uh, the, there are newer Nissan Qashqais. This particular one is a 1.6 litre petrol engine. Uh, I know there are 1.2s out there, or one of the, some of the newer ones. They are 1.2 and I think they're diesel DCIs or something like that. Um, they do go up to 2 litre, I do believe. Um, they do come in a 4x4 mode and a two-wheel drive. Mine's a two-wheel drive because I, well, I wouldn't have minded the four-wheel drive one, but it would have probably been a bit more hefty on the petrol. So the two-wheel drive will have to do for me. Um, from what I can remember, its top speed is about 117 for the 1.6 model, which is pretty decent, but I'd never even get to 117 anyway. You know, because I don't feel the need to put my foot down or anything like that. 
In terms of taxing it, uh, it's for six months it's about 70-something pounds, I do believe, which is roughly what I was paying for my old car, which was manufactured in 2010 and was a 1.2 litre. You know, so for the same tax for six months, I've got a bigger car, a bigger engine, you know, so I'm not complaining. My insurance has taken a slight increase through various things. Um, I was paying £30 a month for my insurance. I do believe that's now gone up to 67 because I've had a couple of accidents in my time, you know, well, I say a couple, I've had one big one, and one not so big one, you know, I reversed up somebody's bonnet, my fault and their fault, they shouldn't have parked too close, and I should have been a bit more aware of my surroundings, but, you know, I'd only had the car about a month at that point, so really, I was still trying to get used to it, because it, that thing was a two and a half, two and a half litre turbo petrol that I had at the time, big flipping four before and all. Um, so, so yeah. In terms of affordability, it's the road tax is all right, and for me, my insurance, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I, I can easily get by with that. The running cost, <laughs> it it does like to drink. It does like to drink the fuel. You know. So I'm going to have to watch that. I haven't managed to actually do a full week on a full tank kind of thing, you know, because I've I've been here, there and everywhere since I've got it. So I've just been topping it up, just kept topping it up. So this will be the first week that I've done on a full tank. So hopefully, you know, we're going to see how that goes. I mean, what am I on now? I can't remember. Excuse me. It showed you very early on in the video, I know that. Right, I've got three quarters of a tank left. So, I'm going to have to turn that sound on the dash cam off. It annoys me <laughs> whenever it starts up. So, yes. Uh, so, yeah, it does like to drink it a bit, but, you know, what do you expect for a big, hefty car? You know, I mean, yeah, okay, it's only a Nissan Qashqai, but it's still quite big and it's still quite heavy, you know. So that is my review of the Nissan Qashqai. I've never done a vehicle review before. I probably won't be doing one again because I don't know what I'm on about, to be honest. I know basics and things and I've probably missed out a load of stuff that I should show you. But, you know, it's what I can do. It's what I, you know, what I can show you at the time and all the rest of it. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, like and subscribe. And we shall see you in the next vlog. Catch you later.